Coming up on Can What You Grow Warm with Zucchini and Pineapple Juice. Welcome to Candy What You Grow. I'm Holly Baird. Today we are making basically like a mock pineapple. So this is one more thing you can do with your zucchini. We're going to put our zucchini with some sugar and pineapple juice and can it. And then when you take it out, it'll have, it'll absorb that pineapple juice flavor and it'll be nice and sweet, kind of like a sweet treat. So this is another thing, like I said, you can do with your zucchini. You can do this in the a hot water bath. So, because you're basically making like a, kind of like a, uh, sweet pickle type of thing but it won't have it won't taste like there's no savory part to it it's going to be all sweet so the first thing you need to do is you need to peel your zucchini and that's pretty simple you just just like this peel it and then you're going to get it chopped into cubes you can also shred it if you want so if you want like a shredded uh Pine, pineapple zucchini you can do that too we're just going to chop ours so i'm going to get through all these peeled i'm going to get them chopped and you also want to seed them as well and then we'll get to the next step okay so we're almost done processing the zucchini and uh, summer squash we're doing a combination of zucchini and summer squash so what you want to do is when you cut this open i always just cut it i cut the neck down until i see the seeds and then i do this part separate you could just cut in half and then do this but this way when I peel or when I go to uh, seed it it they I can just take my spoon and work it down and then they come out real nice like that so you just kind of have to pretty much like that and then you have to get up in here so you just go like that and it's pretty it goes pretty fast once you kind of get the hang of it you just work your spoon down And some are going to be easier than others, but you just work your spoon down until you get your seeds out. Work it down again. Most of my seeds are out at that point, and just kind of have to fine tune it. It's easier with a spoon. If you had like a, a grapefruit spoon, it would probably be a little bit easier. But this is just a soup spoon, and I chose one that has like a thinner edge. You don't want to choose like a thicker one. And then I just chop it up. I need a total of four quarts. So this is two quarts. I'm going to just add the rest here that I have. And then we already have some ready to go. We'll, we're going to get this on the stove with everything all together in just a minute. Okay, so we got our pineapple in our stock pot here. And then here comes the, or not our pineapple, our zucchini. We got our zucchini in the stock pot here. So we're going to use our pineapple juice. Now you want to use your pineapple juice in a can. You don't want to just like go to the, the fresh juice department. You want to use it in the can. That way the acidity is controlled just like when we use bottled lemon juice and canning same thing here you want to use the the pineapple juice and this is a a non gmo sourced and it says bpa free on the packaging so all right all right so we're gonna get that in there and this is a 46 ounce can and that's pretty much standard I didn't really have to search anywhere special for it. It was just at my regular supermarket. So it wasn't like torturous or anything trying to find it. So let's get that all in there. It smells good. If you like pineapple, I'm sure you like this recipe. Okay. So then we add our three cups of sugar. And this is the part that I'm sure helps make it, you know, extra yummy and then we add a bottle or not a bottle a cup and a half of lemon juice bottle lemon juice okay and so what you're going to do is you're going to let this cook so you want to cook it for about 20 minutes once it starts to boil i'm just stirring it all up here to get my sugar mixed in but 20 minutes so it's getting pretty hot already so we're gonna let it what, let it go, come to boiling, and then we're gonna turn it on to a simmer. Okay, so this came to a full boil, and then we brought it down to a simmer. It's been simmering for about 20 minutes, and as you can see, 
the squash has become a little bit more translucent and it's cooked down a little bit. When we had covered it before with the liquid, it was um, it wasn't fully covered. So then as it, it as it cooks down, it releases water. So you don't have to, you might like, when you start, you might be like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna have enough liquid. It's okay, because it's gonna release that water. So we're gonna get going. We're gonna get, get to canning here. And so we have, oh, let me grab my jar lifter here. And this is done in pints. You wanna do it in pints, not quarts or anything. And it needs a half inch headspace. So, just give it a good stir here before I get going. So I'm gonna use my ladle. Okay. And that headspace includes the liquid too. About per oh, sorry, let me just double check this here. I'm not looking at here. That's a half. Okay, so we're just about perfect. Now, we we'll just take and wipe the rim. Go ahead and get our lid on and our ring. Tighten it, but don't over tighten it. And I'm going to get this into the canner. And we'll have to see, it says about eight quart or eight pints is. What we're going to end up with, we'll have to see here. Okay, so here we go. We got our pineapple and zucchini here. As you can hear, the the uh, lids are sealing, which is good. So I'm going to get them all pulled out here. Okay, so there you have it. We got our zucchini pineapple ready. To go and we taste it a little bit. It did have a definitely a pile of flavor. I think once these sit for a little bit, the, the pineapple flavor will infuse them more. So it's definitely worth a try. I like the idea of it. it. Gives you something to do with that zucchini. That's for sure. Something else. So go ahead, try zucchini pineapple. I'm Holly Baird, and this has been Kenny What You Grow. For more information, please visit the Wisconsin Vegetable